actually. I, but that's not what I need. That's not important I, to me. I'm Money has never been that super important to me. Me neither. Even though I have the talent to produce it, I, I trust me. Good news. I know that's not why. That's not why you're here. I, on the flip side, think there's no room that you could have been in better than this one for what you actually do need. And I, okay. think, I, I think this community and I think why you've been attracted to me is, um, is just all playing out. I, you know, Scott, I think about this all the time. People talk about, you know, COVID and Corona being such a terrible event. And that's absolutely true. We've seen right. death tolls that make us all shiver down our spines. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that I'm incapable of not seeing the silver lining and the optimism in this, there is no chance in hell that you and I have these 20 minutes any way ever without COVID. It's just not right. how I was navigating my life. And when I did Ask Gary Vee or a podcast, I would be in such a tight, short window that I would have to cut it off, cut it short. The level of depth I'm able to do on this show is so different. I, I genuinely believe in my soul right now that your life will never be the same after this. I genuinely believe that. And, and, I, and I think that, that that's amazing as a collateral, as an impact for what happened in the macro. And that makes me happy. And that's how I think about the world. Right. And, and like I said, you know, I'm not scared to meet new people and move forward. I'm, I'm just nervous. I think two things have to happen. One, you have to do two very important things. Number one, okay. we're going to share your email here and you have to do two things for me. One, okay. you have to work on yourself to not have expectations. You have to be okay with Lizette or Johnny or Stevie or Jude or Matthew or Genstick to be okay with like worrying about themselves too. Do you know what I mean? Okay. You have to be okay with that. You have to be selfless in their selfishness. At the same token, you also have to be very awake to knowing that the people that are about to reach out in this community are already starting on third and a half base around kindness, compassion, because they've also gotten a lot of context out of you in this call. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm ready. I mean... Let's do it. What's your email? Uh, Lone Rider 71... <laughs> <laughs> Scott, Scott, you know what my number one, number one uh, passion in life right now is from a year from now for you to send me an email and say, yo, I changed my email from Lone Rider to Scott's Gang at gmail.com. That, that couldn't, you couldn't have, that was literally out of central casting. I love you with all my heart right now for that <laughs> fucking email. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. I just, it's, it's I it. me right now. You know what's funny? It is the perfect segue for this call. It is going to be the last time that email is going to really mean anything because I think that email is going to start the process of that email changing over time. So go ahead. Okay. Let's put it up. Lone Rider. 71 at gmail.com. Dustin, do your thing. Let's make sure it's right. Let's make sure. Yep, that's it. Scott, listen to me. If you work on yourself around not expecting anything from all these incredible people that are emailing you right now. And everybody who's emailing, listen, Scott's going to have to make some decisions here. Let's be empathetic. You can't just be like, hey, I want to be your friend. You need to write where you live, what kind of interests you have. You know, do you want to, you know, what's your Facebook so you can go on Messenger? Like, or are you, are you what do you do? Like, are you in paintballing? Are you in gardening? You need to pitch our friend here, Scott. Because this friendship is valuable, and so he's going to pick some here. Scott, I'm really excited about this. Well, I I appreciate you taking the time. I really do. It it, it means more to me than you probably will ever know. You know what's funny? I hear that at different times. I really do know. Like people need people. You know, and back oh, to yeah. your and back to your point of like, well, I haven't been able to do that because you haven't been in the best place. I'm so grateful, and he, and I'd be frank with you, Scott. Also, back to chemicals and how this all works, there's probably a, uh, in that 80% gratitude, there's 20% guilt. I'm aware that I could have had a DNA trait that acted, but this is not just like, hey, pick it up. I mean, these, are, these are diseases and sickness. This is real life. Right. So, it, so I have so much good. I want to put this energy. I'm, Scott, I'm telling you right now to your beautiful face, which I love your fucking goatee, by the way. I'm telling Thanks. you right now, brother. 
Uh-huh. You're about to shit your pants. This is going to be good. You probably, actually, can you check your Gmail right now? Just give me an update on uh, the emails you got. Yeah, oh, by I the can. way, everybody, I hope you've been paying attention. Make sure you wish him a happy birthday. He's going to go from four to 4,000. I just want to get a sense of how many emails you've got. Uh, oh, shit, they're still coming in. Look at the top. Uh, Does it say at the top? Well, it says 12 so far, but I haven't checked my email in a couple of days. But uh, yeah, I got like five more just in the last three seconds. <laughs> wow. You're going to have a very, 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 very busy and exciting day. I think so, yeah. And I think it's going to change your life. Uh, once again, I just thank you. You're welcome. All right. I wish you well. Take care of yourself. All right, thank you. Get back to all those emails today, Scott. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Third time's a charm, Gary. It always is, brother. Yeah, um, I literally uh, drove to my friend's office because I think, uh, like I said, I got four kids and they're jamming the Wi-Fi they're jamming school it. right now. They're jamming it. School. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes. Um, I think we're I think we're there, Kev. You know, I think I think I think what you want to do is paint him pictures that don't make mm-hmm. his world narrow. Right. So he's like, so maybe I'll be a developer, and then you could say, well, maybe you'll be the CFO of the of the Pacers. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, right. Like, I think you need to really push him into dreaming opportunities where he's like he's being practical around a skill set. Yep. But that skill set of math translates in a million different ways. Yeah, exactly. And can layer to things that he finds more fun, which will then give him energy, which will then drive him to levels of success and happiness that are far greater than just taking a practical route. Right. I mean, here's a different way to maybe ask it. It's like, how do you manage a kid and manage in the right word? But, you know, Shepard will call it a kid who is frankly, perfectly designed, at least by all accounts, to play the game that is education right now, right? By not overfearing it, because you and I share our ideology of, like, what the school system is, by not overfearing it, right? and by transposing that skill into things that make him happy. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I think it makes sense. I think it just... The we have to be careful. To, we have to be careful to not over demonize school. Right. The way right. that we grew up, where it was put on a pedestal. Look, you. Yeah. How old are you, my friend? Forty-five. Right. So we're the same age. I'm forty-four. I turned forty-five this year. You know what I'm about to say? There was no fucking other option. Tell these kids that are watching. There was no entrepreneurship. Right. Right. It was go to college. Right. And if you don't go to a good college, there's a very big chance you won't be happy and successful. Right. Right. The whole million dollar more number that they threw around all the time. So now, now we're in a great spot, but I, uh, we need to be careful to not over-demonize it either. Right. And I, I think you need to tap into his interests. I love the three sports Call of Duty stuff. Like, love it. Like, yeah. And, and really also throw some things at him. Do some weird shit once in a while. Like, you know, take him to a cooking class and be like, I know mm. this blows and I know you hate me, but like, let's just talk sports the whole time for the two hours and maybe, God forbid, you're actually destined to be the greatest chef of all time. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, just push. Just mix it up. Push. Yeah. Yeah, like, and, and by the way, like, push and then let go. Maybe, like, it's real life. Like, never get too caught. Always be well, willing to adjust. You book the cooking class, it's 200 bucks each. And then he just fucking, like, just is devastated. And then you're like, fuck it, fuck the 400 bucks, and you let him out of it. That doesn't right. mean that he's not seeing it through. That means you took a shot at an innovation and it didn't work. That kind of stuff. Do you see where I'm right. going? Yeah, no, I get it. I mean, we're, we're big on that as parents. I mean, back to the Call of Duty thing, it was or any video games when he was younger, it was always, you know, let him play the video games because he's doing everything else fine academically. And if we just kept pushing the academics, pushing the academics, he doesn't know anything other than academics. So let him go with it. Let him, you know. Now it's the 3.0 version of that. Now have more intellectual, theoretical conversations with him to expand his mind. Yeah, no, I like that. Okay. Talk to you soon, brother. Take care of yourself. Thanks. Bye-bye. Good effort there. Drove to a fucking another play. I respect that. Heighten, what's good? Mike Z, what's good? Tool Crate, what's good? B Adventures, what's good? Andrew Pezza, what's good? Kim Jacobs, what's good? 
Oh, we haven't done a wine text thing. Let's put it up. We haven't done an all in challenge thing. We're going to end with all in challenge today again. Dust. Not that cute. Uh, yeah, I still have it. Um, awesome. I wasn't sure if we were going to 11 or not. I think we might. Okay. I think we might. Just checking. <laughs> just yet. Um, winetext.com. Uh, it is, uh, thank you. Green juice. Um, winetext.com. If you buy wine on the internet or you buy wine at Total Wine or BevMo or if you buy wine and you're not signed up for this, you are breaking my dad's heart. Um, you're breaking my heart. Oh, I, check this out. I was making some commercials. We're making some ads commercials. Some ads sold. Ads for social media. They're going to like this. Hey, Dad. What you think about so I'm making some ads for... Uh, sites that people so I'm making some ads for, for social. Check this out. This is going to hit your Facebook and Instagram stream. Tell me what you think. Hey, Dad, what do you think about all those other wine sites that people buy from? They suck. They should sign up for winetext.com. It will mean a lot to me. Sign up for winetext. Oh, next part. Text.com. Because all the other services suck. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. Hey. Please, 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 please sign up for winetext.com. It would mean the world to me. If you're like literally $60 wine for 30 bucks, $40 wine for 14 bucks, it is literally the best, best, best wine service in the world. It's easy. It takes two minutes to sign up. It takes two seconds to order. It's super fun. It's only 365 deals. It's the, it's the best. It's the fucking best. So um, please, uh, please. And if you don't drink, if you, go to, if you go to your Facebook account right now and say anybody who drinks wine, sign up for winetext, um, that would mean the world to me as well. Let's watch it one more time because everybody loved it. <laughs> it's really good. Wine. Hold your uh, mic closer to the phone. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about all those other wine sites that people buy from? They suck. <laughs> they should sign up for winetext.com. It will mean a lot to me. Sign up for winetext.com. Watch this, watch this. Look what my dad's doing. (laughs) Make my dad happy. Like when my dad gets signed up, like literally people signing up for wine text. And by the way, don't sign up for it just to make my dad happy because um, if you don't buy anything, it costs money to send a text. So we don't need that. But if you try, if you drink wine, it would mean the world to me. All right, let's keep it going. And let me know if you signed up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, how Hi. are you? I'm well. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm doing well as well. Um, do you have tea? I'm doing tea. Let's do it, Katie. Can we do a cheers. cheers right there? Cheers. I love it. I love it, man. So first off, I just want to say thank you for having me on the show. But for more importantly, you're changing lives, man. And I'm trying. No, you are. You just change people's lives in a way that I think is absolutely fantastic. And if I'm being real with you, What I feel like my purpose on this earth is to connect deeply with people and inspire them to live a more meaningful life. And so much of that has been influenced by your teaching, has been influenced by others, and is really just, I look up to you as someone, I want to do what you're doing. Um, Yeah, of course. So do you have the the patience to pull it off? Because the thing that- Absolutely. The thing that you'll need to do is do things that build up the credibility for the messaging to land. Absolutely. I absolutely believe in that. And it's not something, it's not a tomorrow thing. It's something that I'm doing for the rest of my life. If this is what I'm going to be doing and maybe I make it when I'm 80 years old and I make a difference in someone's life, that's what I'm here for. And that's what I'm going to be going for it. So my question, thank you. My question today is I've been struggling to kind of find a path that aligns with that vision. So I'm a high school senior. I'm about to graduate and I'm trying to Talk really to focus. Real quick. How did everybody feel about, like, what's the t- vibe? How many kids do you have in your graduating class? Um, we have about 600, yes. maybe a little bit more. Oh, yeah, shoot. yeah. Where, where do you sure. live? Hillsborough, New Jersey. You live in Hillsborough, New Jersey? Yeah, why? You know that I went to North Hunterdon High School? No way, bro, that's sick. 
Wait a minute, so Hillsboro cool. High has 600 fucking kids graduating from their I high school? So, yeah. yeah, we are packed. We do not have room for it, but we have them. Do they still have like a football trophy for Ricky Pro, the wide receiver who went to Hillsboro? I don't know. All right. I don't no, know. No, I wish I could tell you, but Fair enough. I couldn't. Kitty, do you know that we're like 20 minutes apart right this minute? I'm in Huntington, New Jersey right that's now. That's literally insane. That's okay, so what, what's the vibe? Was everybody like devastated about prom and graduation? Was Absolutely. Everybody... Absolutely. Yeah, People sad. are just devastated about it. And it's do they totally have, changed. Do they have... Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's totally good. It's just totally changed not only our senior year, but our outlook for what we're doing next year, mm-hmm. which is totally. So like for me, this kind of gets into my question. So um, I've been kind of, my focus has been one, optimizing for a great experience after high school and really just connecting with people who are going to push me towards the path that I'm supposed to take. And for me, those two options have kind of narrowed down to either taking a gap year or going straight to the college that I'm accepted to. And which is that? Uh, UVM, University of Vermont. Yep. So I'm kind of in between these two circumstances, but coronavirus has really added this uh, extra level of frustration because my gap year and my freshman experience could look totally freaking different. That's good. So let's, let's yeah, that. no frustration. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, if you're going to do what you want to do and your energy is so awesome and everyone's loving <laughs> you in the comments, you, <laughs> you, need, you need to understand that plans are shit. It's oh, good absolutely. to have a plan, but, it, but the ability to adjust to reality is the ultimate. And well, let me tell you this. So Please. what I've been doing, um, I actually had a conversation with one of my mentors who works at TED. So it's my dream to work at TED, um, TED Talks, you know, all of that. Yes, one of my big dreams to work there. Um, so I'm totally passionate about their vision and really aligned with their mission. I, so, I, I don't know if she's still the CEO, but I, I might be able to, you need to email me at Gary at VaynerMedia. Yeah. I, I still know the president. I don't know if absolutely. she still holds the job, but she clearly knows a lot of people there and I might be able yeah. to help you. So don't absolutely. forget. That'd be fantastic. I will. I will not forget. Okay. But I was talking to one of my mentors who actually works at TED and we we're basically everything in my life. I try and look through the lens of everything for me, not against me. So what I try and do is to, if something happens, Corona, okay, how can we make this but work? Then, Katie, I, then I need you to stay true to that and not say frustrated yeah. about the gap year fucking Vermont thing. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And I, I know. have to continue let's, that. Let's yeah. sit here. Like, I'm okay. being serious with you because I see the potential in you. Yeah, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Your energy is just sweet and fucking awesome. <laughs> thank you. But then you need and- to listen to me right now. Yeah. Like, fuck that frustration. Don't get caught up yeah. in the bubble of what you're supposed to feel. You're not frustrated. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm excited about it. I can feel yeah. it. This yeah. is an important part of the evolution. This is the training. We're in some Jedi shit now. Yeah, yeah. I actually don't believe that you're frustrated. No, I'm not. I'm excited about it. But you're parroting words from others. You're taking the energy from the ones that are. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So that's why we need to focus on this moment because this is a good okay, moment for you. Let's and do it. Let's do it. No more, par- no more parroting other energy. No, Speak absolutely. your fucking truth. So you can be in a gap year your whole fucking you. life, Katie. Yeah, no, I was looking at that. That's definitely you know what, what I mean. I- like gap year, meaning doing what yeah. the fuck you want. Absolutely. And I'm still trying to figure out what exactly that looks like right now i have a personal development don't don't don't, don't uh, i'll let you finish in a minute but don't yeah, no worries. don't put it into process you already know exactly what it looks like you just told yeah. me what you're gonna do my, i always knew i was gonna do it too you know what my yeah. process looked like i worked in my dad's liquor store for 15 years absolutely and i'm, do I'm you think, do you think that was the like clear that. path to fucking <laughs> Like to impacting people's lives, carrying fucking cases of Corbell Brute into people's fucking, <laughs> you know, you know, back seats. No. Yeah. If you're into patience, then you're not overvaluing process up front. Yeah, absolutely. No, and to fall in love with that process is something that I've been definitely holding core to who I'm trying to become. You, Katie, and get you know what I'm basically that. telling you? What? It's not going to matter. 
What I mean yeah. by that is it doesn't matter if you go to Vermont or if you go to a gap year, if you're an intern at TED or if you work at a coffee shop in Aspen or if you go in a car with your friends and drive cross country or if you go to Ireland yeah. for three years, if it's your destiny, if it's what you're about, you will absolutely process through. And so whether you have an Instagram account that has 43 followers on it or not, whether you go viral yeah. on TikTok or not, whether you, you execute on the thing that happens 19 years from now that's invented for, by somebody, you, we haven't even started and you need to stay on the macro mission and not overvalue the micro mission. Yeah, The answer absolutely. is, actually, it's just not going to matter. Yeah, no, and I totally agree with that. I think that was something I was, as I was preparing for this show, I kind of, I got to that in a way of saying, you know what, I have this purpose. And really, I think people look for the perfect place to live out their mission. And really, you can do your purpose, you can do your mission literally wherever you're going. And that's we're, really we're, important we're, where I want to do. Doing, we're doing it right now. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm super excited about it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what, how do you paint me a picture, and it will change 39 times, so no pressure. Paint me a absolutely. picture of exactly what you're doing when you're 44. Go. Exactly what I'm doing when I'm 44? Yeah. Hot take. Just a random. I, I want to be traveling. And meeting people, helping people, going to, hopefully I will amass a large amount of knowledge and skills that can help people and add value to their lives. And, and I want to be that, proud of you and, and how? Ooh. Hello? Go wow. Uh, Gary, you dropped off for a second. I did? Yeah. <laughs> Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Okay, cool. Okay, bye. Um, hey. <laughs> hey, sorry. Are you, so you have this incredible framework of selflessness. Thank you. Thank Which, you. You're welcome. Which I also have. Do you, what is selfish to you? Do you want statues? Do you want to be famous? No. Do you want money? No. no, no. All of these are okay. Do not demonize them. What, I know. what do you think you want and or need? So I know selfish. that money. Don't give me, yeah. don't give me some altruistic selfless thing. I got it, man. I, I got want it. to help you. Go ahead. All right. So I know that I need enough money to live the life of my dreams. So what that means is having experiences that I think are freaking amazing and that energize me that I think are vibrant that like, are is awesome. that, like, is that going to like some weird mountain in Peru and like drinking Hell yeah. the, the Hell yeah. of like some rare fruit and it's doing all of, of it, like some man. weird animal. Like you're into that foof shit. It's doing all of it. It's, do, it. it's experiencing life to the absolute like highest well, degree. But how do you define that? Is it in the form of foof? Like I'm a foofy guy, but I don't need to go to some mountain and hang with some gurus in silence and drink like bee, <laughs> bee urine. But some people love that shit. Like, are you about the yeah. bee urine or, or not? Like you love that um, weird shit? Like India in a cave for a month, like and mud on your, like, are you into that foof shit? I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit in the middle. I think I, okay. I love some of that. I think Pushing my boundaries of what's comfortable, I think, is freaking awesome. So doing some of that is awesome. Um, but I also want to be able to um, be financially free Good. and not have to really stress so, on so that. So do, pe- do you want people to pay you as their coach? Um, I'm not sure. I, okay. if, that's that's the way that I, if that's the way that I make my money and that's what gives me the financial freedom I need, then absolutely, I think that's does, great. But does- does it run through your mind of starting a sentence like life is good and building like a $5 million a year hoodie company? Does that run through your mind ever? Are you that kind of person? Um, that definitely does. I've definitely okay. thought about it. Okay. Um, like Cause I'm definitely into like, I've even getting back to this idea of optimizing the experience of what can we do with coronavirus? I had this idea to basically, how can we recreate the freshman experience in a virtual space where you're only kind of creative constraint is the fact that everything has to be online so again it's creating those random collisions it's creating those deep connections those deep conversations with new people so i've definitely had thoughts like that um of creating something a program a business something like that i love it katie i'm 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 gonna tell you something that i hope you rewatch over and over yeah 100 percent gonna win life thank you i'm thank positive. you i'm positive yeah thank I'm you positive keep it simple Keep it okay. open. I like your framework. I like your energy. Yeah. How many, well, how many people follow you on Instagram? Not a lot. I have maybe 83. 83 followers. Not for long. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And I do have a question. Okay. <laughs> and you're feel free to say no. No problem. Um, 
But I'm well, here I'm, and dude, I want to be. You follow fun. five people. That fires me up. You know that's my number. Yeah, You absolutely. literally follow five people. By the <laughs> yeah. way, you follow five people. Yeah. NASA, yeah. Manifested Minds, TED Education, National Geographic, and me. Yep. It's cool. Thank you, man. You, so I do have a watch question. Watch this, Katie. Yeah? To, uh, you've already doubled. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm listening. So I'm definitely going to continue doing this mission. Um, but I got to say, I have this moment to be bold, so I'm going to be it. Okay. You talk about finding a leader who's doing what you want to be doing and working them for free. Yeah. You also said to find someone and say, what can I do for you? I'm hungry. Yeah. So Gary V, what can I do for you? I'm hungry. All right. Can you create? Because we're going to be hiring Absolutely. on my team. Like, are you a writer? You know my content. Well? I am a writer, yeah. I do. All right, send me an email. I'm, I would tell you right now that you have a significant chance of being able to get a job with me. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you're you. so much. But you Thank know what, you. Katie? You might not want that job because right now you're, <laughs> you're already up to 278. I feel like you're going to be at 1,000 yeah. before this video is over. <laughs> Katie, send me an email. Amazing. I'm going to introduce you to Ted and I'm going to introduce you to Andy K who runs my team and we're going to vet your creative talents because right now on Team Gary, we're only hiring makers. People that can okay. tell, make me make content for LinkedIn, for Facebook. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Things, either you have to design, make videos or write. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm into it. Absolutely. That'd the be title, it's Gary of VaynerMedia. Put Katie from Tea Time and New Jersey plus Dustin will get connected with you. Actually work with Dustin. Dustin, you can take care of that, right? Okay, cool. cool. I got you. Katie, Katie, look, 353, Katie. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Keep going. Talk to you soon. Yeah, thank okay. you so much. Bye-bye. It's a good episode. Yeah. Hi, Gary. Oh man, this is insane. This Where are you is from? Insane. Where are you from, Cam? I am. Thank you for everything. First start. I'm always grateful for for everything you do and bringing that value. You saved my life numerous times, and I couldn't be more than grateful for that. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Where so, are you from? I am originally from Peru, born and raised. Oh my God! Um, I just said fucking. Yeah, Peru. I know. How the fuck? <laughs> this is yeah. what. See, Cam. This, this is, is what. Nice. Out of all the fucking things, when I'm painting the weird picture to Katie, I say yeah. Peru out of any fucking place on earth, and then you're Self fucking not. Yeah, fucking. This is the fucking foo foo shit that fucks with me, Cam. Straight up, man. This fucks with Straight me, Cam. Up, man. This fucking fucks with me. It's it's all connected because you know, Fuck. I, man, I, it's so deep, man. It's so deep. So just like with you, you know, you're an immigrant. I was an immigrant for years. Matter of fact, when I can't, when I first came here, I had to go back because my dad, you know, he was doing crazy things. So when I came back, my mom remarried and I was still working on my paperwork, getting my green card. Finally was able to do that. So fast forwarding school was not for me, but I was still an A and B uh, student, but I ended up dropping out because of we lost Cam. Um, I'm still here. Okay, I'm good. still here. You just ended up dropping out because of... I'm still here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm with you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Yep. I can hear you. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I can't really hear you, though. No? We lost that part? Uh, Cam, try yes. just reloading the page and coming back. Oh, in. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, good. Okay. You, wait, so, wait. Can you um, can you hear Dustin, wait, but not me? You know, I don't think um, she can hear me. Yeah. Out, Cam. Cam. Um, can you actually just reload the page and then come back in? Sure. Yeah. yeah, I can hear, I can hear, okay. You could hear me, but you probably can't yeah. hear Gary. Cam, can you hear me? Okay, okay, I'll reload the page. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, I guess I'll stay here for a second. Well, thank you, Dustin, for keeping me entertained while I... <laughs> I really I... like to see somebody, so... Dustin, the foo-foo stuff, like, is... That was fucking crazy. Were you, did you know Cam was from Peru? No, she actually mentioned it in the comments, and I was like, I'm pretty sure we're in a simulation. <laughs> <laughs> well you are dude you're fucking 35 and you look 3.5 and i still can't get over that shit cam all right we're can you back. hear me we're back we're back okay. yeah i can hear go you ahead. Gary. Thank so go thank ahead you, Dustin. thank you um anyway dropping out oh i went to colorado lived everywhere long story short there I got into I got into the media business, right? And I was doing uh, promoting for music festivals, uh, traveling and doing things like that. 
But my mom, it's just my mom here living. Now she's divorced. There's a lot of things going on. And just like you helped your dad build this incredible business, I feel the same way. You know, as all my family's in Peru, all of them. And me, I feel like there's all this responsibility on my shoulders to create the the wealth necessary. And I'm not, I mean, I, I love the financial industry because that's where I'm it. at, you know? And, and I got into that. At first, I was like, you know what? Is this going to work out? I'm all about marketing. But I fell in love with it. And, you know, now just wanting to create that wealth for my family, building a legacy and wanting to obviously go back to Peru, helping out children there, helping out, you know, children here in our community as well. Can my I, question the, the, is... Go ahead. I want to hear it. Yeah. My question is, being pretty much the person who is leading the way of my... of Not just, you know, with my legacy that I want to create for my family. I know that it took a long time for you to build that business for your dad. And right now, obviously, you know, my family's broke. You know, my family's broke. And I'm over here thinking, all right, I'm in this new business uh, with the Cam, agency. Cam, you're going to lose yeah. if you want to go fast. That's my question. I know. That, I almost interrupted you. I already had the answer. The answer is slow. And yeah. that goes countercultural because every day that goes by is another day that you envision them struggling. Exactly. But Cam, I'm going to throw a real bomb at you that you as an immigrant know and a lot of other people here who've come from immigrant or humble beginnings. They're not struggling as much as you think. Yeah. Because when your context is your life and your life is your context, you don't even, you now know what you want them to have here in America, but they haven't tasted that yet. So you're creating an ideology of pressure, like I've got to get my grandma, my mom, my aunt, blah, 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 over here so they can have it good in America. But they're not struggling as much as you create in your mind because that's their reality. I wasn't struggling when I had way less, I was happy. Yeah. And yeah. if you try to go fast, you're gonna cut corners and actually lose. That, that's how I feel about the situation. I'm new to the... To you, the have to re, you have to reframe the situation. If your perspective is that you have to go fast for them instead of you have to go slow to ever pull it off and that these next three years, they'll still be super fine because that's where they're from. That's what they know. Yeah. That's, do, you, that's... do you understand? This is where immigrants in America always get caught. But Gary, I got to get my family here. I'm like, how bad is it? Are they like in jail? Are they in a dangerous zone? Are they in a war zone, a drug zone? And nine out of 10 times, they're not. They're like, yeah, but they're running water. I'm like, but they've always known the running water wasn't great. Yeah, but they, you know, I want them to have new clothes. I'm like, but they've lived in the same clothes forever. Like, we can't impose a capitalistic, wealthiest country on wor in the world on them because they're content. Of course they'd love to be here more because they just miss you. Not because they want to eat a fucking Shake Shack. Yeah. No, exactly. I know. You know I miss them. I haven't seen them in 13 years. You, you need to go back and see them. You need to worry about going slow and sa flipping some shit on eBay to save for a plane ticket. Not to fucking win the lottery. You're going for the Hail Mary. Exactly, exactly. Don't. You could have seen them twice if you had the perspective I'm trying to have you have. This isn't about you fucking bringing them over and having a mansion that everybody lives in. That's, a, that's, a, that's your ego talking. No, you're absolutely right, you know? And, and of course, I'm obviously going to work hard. And, and, I believe and it. You know, obviously giving my all, develop every single day so that I can become that person that I ought to become. And just like you said, I listen to everything that you mentioned, the humility, the patience, the strategy. And, you know, I definitely got to be patient, you know, because right now I'm in the business and everybody's going super fast. You know, they're messaging, they're DMing people two, three hundred messages. And I'm over here thinking, I don't want to I don't want to be a spam, but at the same time, I don't know, like, how to how to go about it, you know? How to go by, about the by brand make, part. By making content. Yeah. I made content for so long before anybody came. Mm. 
But you also can do side stuff. You can save money, you can find money. You know, that's why I love camp, why I love the flipping stuff. If you got that in you, like that's the quickest way to make $3,000 is Goodwill and garage sales. Yeah. You know, and immigrants, have, and immigrants have the humility to go and drive and pick up shit. Exactly, exactly. And right now, you know, I, I actually did that. Matter of fact, I did flip a lot of things on offer up, let go. I tried to do it went pretty well. I, I did sell some stuff. Um, and I like that concept of going out and, you know, picking up random things and then flipping it for more. Um, I'm telling you right now, every year you can go to Peru. Every year you can go to Peru if you garage sale every weekend for a couple hours and ship out some stuff on the week. I'm telling you right now, you can. Yeah. Yeah. And and I'm going to do that. No, seriously, because I have to go back to Peru and see my family. You, you know? have like, to. It has to happen. You have year. to. You're, you've got, you want to go back when you've already did something. Like, you're trying to be a hero. Just be a family member. I know. And that's, that's the thing, you know, like, every now and then my mom is struggling. So she asks us, you know, for money. And I'm obviously going to have it. But my story, my backside of story, I went homeless for almost two years. And, you know, I'm still decorating my apartment. I'm still trying to, you know obviously build myself up and build my, 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 you know, my blueprint. And so I got into the business of insurance and finances and I love it. You know, I'm learning more about money and things like that. Now I'm not like, Oh, you know, I have to the, like money is life happiness. It's not, it's about the process, you know, what you're doing for families too. Um, but that leads to this, to the question as well. Like everybody's going super fast, you know, everybody's building up a, a big team and I'm over here doing my thing, you know, creating content, branding myself, you know, obviously providing as much value as possible. But I don't know if that's a good strategy to be DMing two, two 300 people Why, a day. What, here's the good news. Why don't you DM 100 people a day, offer some value, do it a little less spammy and see what it feels like. When you don't know the answer, you have to do. What most people do in life is when they don't know the answer, they debate it in their own head and do nothing. They look at other people who've done it and do whatever they said without contextualizing how it impacts them. I don't want anybody to do anything I say other than live their life fully themselves the way I do and at least hear out the tactics that I put out that might bring value and see if it brings value, not debate if it does or blindly believe that it does. So the answer to your question on that is try it for a week and see what it feels like. And if you feel spammy and gooky and ugly, then stop. Yeah. You know how many of my friends don't like I like to eat exotic food. I grew up in the wine business, so French cuisine, like foie gras and sweet breads and all sorts of weird oysters. I'm a very exotic eater. And a lot of my, when I'm out, a lot of my friends or business associates are like, oh, I don't like oysters. And do you know that more than half of them have never had one? Really? And that's how I think about this. You don't know what it feels like to DM 200 people a day. So you have to taste it. Mm -hmm. Try it. And give value to them, right? All the value. See, I. I so it's with the it's not it's not the tactic. It's how you feel the tactic. Exactly, because I'm over here, you know, learning about money too, and I'm like, okay, obviously financial literacy is ve you know very important, um, and there's other things that come with it, like the leadership, you know, the the build, you know, building up somebody and and things like that. Because I'm doing that myself, and I see a lot of people my age who struggle people who went through the same course of life. And I'm like, okay, like, this is what I did. You know, this is how I got out of that situation, how I went from homeless to having at least at home um, and, and little things like that. So when I'm creating the content to help people, you know, with the financial literacy, I know it's boring. You know, I know it may be boring. But you're not boring. But... Yeah. You got it, Cam. I trust you. I know, though. man. I'm going to I'm get it Cam, done. Cam, get to Peru. For sure. No, I got to get there. I Cam, do. Cam, number one, because you'll regret it when people aren't there anymore when you go in six years. You need to go immediately. Yeah, this year. Definitely, Look, man. you have to be practical. I don't know what your money situation is. You're going to have to figure it out, but I'm telling you right now, flip life, I'm telling you right now, flip life is real. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Just about being patient. I'll continue listening to your content, man. Yes, I Kim. love everything you do. 
and you know being able to donate an all-in challenge like that's something that i that i look forward to do someday you know being able to help all these children and people in hungary like i grew up in that was like in peru poor for a third third world country you know like i know that i get it and i'm very passionate about this so but overall i just I'm very grateful for this moment. Thank, Thank you, you for giving me some value. Absolutely, you got it. Gary. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Talk On to you that. soon. On that, if you don't know what the All In Challenge is right now, allinchallenge.com. Uh, at the in a little bit, I'm going to show you the video. My offer is crazy. The Ultimate Gary V Experience. It's a raffle. Ten dollar tickets to enter. I fly you to three of my keynotes. You sit front row, sit in the green room with me. Um, I spend a week with you at VaynerMedia and work on your content with my, Team Gary Will, and I'll, I'll jump into a bunch of stuff. You go garage sale with me. You go to a Jets game with me and tailgate. And sit with me. I won't talk to you during the game because that's how I roll. Um, hmm. $25,000 shopping spree at Wine Library. Um, get to be on my podcast. Uh, it's going to be pretty legit. So uh, check out allinchallenge.com. Scorsese and Leo are letting you be in their movie. Um, Justin Bieber will come to your home and serenade you. Um, there's just some real shit. So allinchallenge.com. Please check it out. Uh, we've raised, Jesus, $13 million in a week. Launched a week ago, or actually not even six days ago, $13.4 million uh, have been raised. Uh, and we're very proud of it. Very proud. I'm sure you've seen it all over. Um, celebrities, athletes, just been unbelievably, unbelievably incredible. Let's sneak another one in. Hey, Gary, what's up, man? What's up, Uncle Pudge? How you doing, man? How's, uh, how's quarantine life? It's going well. Yeah. Get, you know... I'm a big lemonade out of lemons kind of guy, and so that's where we're at. Hundred percent, yeah. Um, this uh, this whole thing has really helped me have some good quality time with my family that uh, we haven't ever gotten before. So I love it. I'm super pumped about it. Fire away. So I want to start um, by just um, I, there's there's not a long enough live stream that we could do to tell you how grateful I am uh, for for everything that you've put out. I've been following you since uh, August 23rd, 2018, and I have I've literally consumed everything you've ever put out, um, unless it um, requires me to do reading. Because like you, <laughs> I don't read things. Um, I've I've read all of your books that are on audio book. Um, and I want to give you a little bit of context on, on who I am before I, I go into my questions. So I'm a, a 31-year-old stay-at-home stepdad. And um, on the side, I've got this dream to uh, create uh, a communications machine um, similar to what you're doing with Sasha Group and, and VaynerMedia. Okay. So um, that's my dream, to be able to help uh, small businesses and organizations and nonprofits and, and different things like that, help them to communicate with uh, their audience and, and their communities and build that community. So, uh, which leads me into both my questions, um, the first of which is a lot more practical. Um, and then the second is something that I think um, I, I've struggled with the word that I need to use today with this the, with this question. Um, I, I need your wisdom okay. on. Okay, do it. so my first question is: I am a part of the creative story team uh, for my church, and I see a lot of churches struggle with with communication with uh digital content with building communities online especially and you know and, and definitely in smaller towns all day yep yeah. very, very archaic models right and and i think a lot of that has to do with fear um and, and a lack of understanding for sure Always. and leadership just being stuck in old ways right 100 percent. i totally agree um and and one model that I follow is uh, Brady Shearer with Pro Church Tools, uh, who actually uses a lot of yurd and um, logic uh, when he talks to to churches and, and helps them to communicate in what he calls the 167. So there's 168 hours in a week. We spend one of that in church, and churches struggle with the communication in those 167 hours in between. Makes sense. 
Makes sense. So, so that's what um, my goal is in being on that creative story team is uh, helping churches understand the concept of um, functioning as a business and organization um, without letting go of the, the anchor that they have, which is their message. I totally understand. So what can I do there um, to help? By, by making content by yourself around video games or other, like uh, looking at your setup, appreciate the uh, mug life and the empathy. Yeah, stuff. you know, every time I go garage sailing, that's the shirt so, I wear. So when I see, when I see the, the N64 games in the background, mm -hmm. I think if you make content for you, Okay. And then show its success to the church. Mm. And you're like, this is what works. Because if you try to do it through the church, you're going to bang your head against the wall. You're going to get nothing accomplished. You're in the system. Mm -hmm. This is how I think about education. The education system is, um, is rigid. Education is the most important thing in the world. How you right. do education can be done different. We've been doing some real fucking education here for two hours this morning. A hundred percent. So I think you need to prove it through you and then put it on a silver platter for for everybody at the church to look at and say, what I really want to do is do it for the 167. See, this is why I, 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 I never text in questions to you because I always know what your answer is going to be. Because you've already answered the question in every That's bit of strategy. content you've ever created. What the uh, strategy... Go ahead. ...is to put out all my best advice for free and then use the serendipity of non-scalable moments like this to drive it home. To use the energy exchange right now to be like, fuck it, I'm going to, you know, you know the answer. Sometimes yeah. it's literally this to be like, what? Yep. And, and yeah, so you're, you're a hundred percent right. So that's why I always struggle with in sending in questions to you. Um, but I totally agree with that. So, and so why aren't you doing it? That's leading me into the second part. Okay. I am. I love it. But I struggle. So, um, and I'll, I'll preface my question with this. So at the beginning of this year, I started doing um, what I call the 366 challenge, where I decided to uh, create a piece of content every single day. And uh, it started with uh, video content. I was making videos every single day. I got a camera for Christmas. Uh, I got a mic set up that I'm doing my podcast with. So, you know, it's, relatively it's high quality um but it's not the tool brother you're right you're 100 percent right uh, so yes yeah, um the feed's coming in really weird so just give me one second no worries i wonder if it's i don't know who <laughs> the answer is always garage <laughs> <laughs> that's art, right art mac it's just us for some reason are we good Talk to us, Dust. Test, test, test. Seven, four, nine. I can hear you. I can hear you. Uh, all right. Oh, you everyone's. Have, you guys are coming in like really robotic to me. Got it. Okay, no worries. How about for everybody else? What's going on in the comments? Looks good on his end. Hey, everybody, Stream can you looks let good us on know? my end. Looks no. good okay. here. Looks good here. Sounds fine. Yeah, I think it's you, Dust. Yeah. Prop, you know what? That porn plug-in that you have on your computer sometimes right, drains right, right. a lot of energy. So right. I would, I would, I would, I would take that it's out. The I know you, yeah, you, yeah, but you put. Uh, I've seen what you do on your work stuff. So it's that. You know, you may want to take that plug-in out. Okay. Got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. So. So I started this one, this 366 challenge uh, at the beginning of the year where, where I decided to create a piece of content every single day, uh, focusing on video in the beginning um, to, first of all, work on myself. Um, and it, it became this, this journey into myself um, where it was this transparent, uh, journal almost that I was posting on social media, uh, writing down my deepest innermost fears and thoughts. And it became a journey into myself. But at the same time, what I wanted it to do was, uh, help build, uh, a portfolio and credibility and context around what I want to do sense the world. with I everything. my business. So, so. What's the prop? This, this, I, I, I don't have confidence in myself. Well, let's so get confidence in yourself. The, the second part of this is my, my real struggle. 
after about 30 year or 20 or 30 days of it, I started to think too much. Of course. And because you weren't getting enough views because you, you got some, a negative comment because no, I never got any negative comments. Every piece of feedback that I ever got was totally positive. People in my church were coming not up a, to me. Not a, not People enough, in public were coming up to me. Yep, not enough, um, not, not enough, not enough views for your, you know, I, I've taken, um, I, I really try to do my best to take your advice and not even look at that. I, I know I try not to even look at is the it, likes. Is, I don't look at the it, reviews. Is it, is it your overall framework? Like, did you grow up in an environment? It's me. Them? Yes. Well, well it's I grew me. up no. with a, uh, I, I grew up sexually abused. I grew up, um, physically and mentally and, um, verbally abused yep. in my home. Yep. And I, I moved to Mississippi when I was, 11 and brand new school in sixth grade got beat up every single day from sixth grade to ninth grade. Yep. And I got big enough to where people stopped messing with me. <laughs> Thank God. Um, which I know you can relate with because except I didn't get big enough. I didn't get big yeah, enough. I just I, 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 got, I, got, I got charismatic <laughs> enough and smart enough and clever. That's enough, right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You got big enough here. Exactly. Um, but here is where I, I also, I also for transparency really didn't have that issue mm -hmm. because I had a, personality trait that was so confident and so likable that it didn't make me vulnerable to your point when you're insecure you and you're broken. You a hundred percent. Your home all, life. All, all I'm tr brother, all I'm trying to do for the world is what my mom did for me. It's not super complicated. Absolutely. And that's what I'm trying to do for my kids because I, I, I grew up in a toxic environment. Um, and you know, I'm trying to do that for my son no, who bro, has his own bro, YouTube you're, channel. You're, you're playing it right. You're, if, if you've consumed that much of my content and you need to continue to pump complete and utter positivity into your soul to outbalance the negativity and it's not one for one. That kind of level of abuse as a child, that's like a thousand to every one minute I, I can put into you or anything else that's positive and practical, self-esteem building and believing. But brother, you're on your way. Like, like when I sit here and I've been through a lot of these rodeos, you're very on your way. And I, I need that, Gary. I, well, I need I just somebody that doesn't, that's not connected to me, that doesn't love I, me. I, I unfortunately <laughs> love you, so you're going to have to take that to the but, but I definitely am not connected yet to you, but now we are. And the reality is I just am good at this, and I just think you're on your way. And if you have to rewatch this clip, clip this 14 seconds and play it on repeat every day and make so I, I, I wonder if mm, a, a lot of my mental hurdle is the fact that I don't have enough um, portfolio or, or credibility because nope. it's, nope, that's not it's it. not it, things it, that I've ever it, done before. No, and, it's, it's your own insecurity um, manifesting. It's just um, it's it's your own. Man it's just it's just your framework. It's just where you came from. And yeah. good news, you fought because you had it in you to get out of it. And you're yeah. on your way. You're on a, you're on your real way. Yeah. And now it's you're just early in the process. Right. You say you're 31? And that's definitely what? one thing you're, you're, that you're I try 31? to keep top of my you mind said? is is to understand that uh, every single day I repeat to myself, ten years, ten years, ten years. Love I've been it. doing this and for a way, year. And by half. the way, by the way, and when you get there, you're gonna say ten years again. Right. At 34, I was like, 10 years, 10 years. Now I'm 44, and guess what I'm saying? I'm going to fucking kill at 54. 54 yeah. is going to be fucking crazy. Yeah. Bro, you're on your yeah. way. You're on your way. But you're, Gary, you're and I, I, I'm, I'm excited uh, to, to be connected with you. Um, and I, I know you just um, had a conversation uh, with Katie. Uh, and <laughs> look, I hate, I hate being the, the follow-up person. Uh, to do something like this, but you know, you talk about a lot. Um, if there's something that you want to do to get cl as close as you can to the sun yep. of that, um, to to feed off of that energy, I'll, I'll, I'll save you time. If you want to apply to Andy for my team, I'm never against it. It's a real filter. You know, I'm always comfortable saying no. It's a, it's, you know, uh, it's a super coveted job it's it's so it's competitive um but it it doesn't scare me to give you that opportunity you're just gonna have to you know you're gonna have to get through the filter of some pretty hardcore subjective opinions on based on the merit of the work that we can see to make that decision you also have to move to 
the New York City area in an entry level capacity financially, it's just the reality of the job at the starting point there, just like anything else. And so, mm-hmm. if those things match up, I'm not against it. 100%. How do I, what do, what do you want me to do? Dustin will take care of you. Got you. I'm oh, sorry, brother. I'm three minutes late for my Gary. next meeting. I love you back. Dustin, get out here. Thank you so much for being on the ones and twos. Um, thank you, everybody who's watching today. I thought today was remarkably strong. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. I hope Team Gary Vee was watching. I think there's a lot of Instagram clips. And most of all, it would mean the world to me if you went and bid on the Gary Vee experience. $10 raffle ticket. Uh, you, can buy tw- you can buy 20 of them for 100 bucks, so 5 bucks a pop. Uh, please check it out. And here is the full experience. I will see you tomorrow. Is tomorrow 10 a.m.? Um, I thought it was 9 still, but... Tomorrow is uh, 10 a.m. Oh. Because one of us is sharp and the other is not. Nope, I'm not sure. <laughs> Check this I out. am giving away the ultimate Gary V experience. How should I?